Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be working on some flowers because I really, really, really need to get some flowers made up um, because I think I've only got like three sets left in the shop. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through the process of how I do this. Um, basically, you just need some doilies like this and you're just going to keep layering until it's like really elegant and pretty and you know aesthetically pleasing and so I just start with a basic doily and then I just keep adding to it until it looks like something that I would use in a journal and so I have a different a lot of different elements here but I've also dyed some of my doilies so um, I'm going to be using a lot of pink in the next kits that I'm using so I'm going to be making all kinds of flowers for the kits, for personal use, for different affirmative pieces that I'm going to be making in the future. Um, so I guess we'll just get started. Um, I've got quite a bit of the different ones that I've dyed. And as you can see, they're kind of, well, you might be able to see them, but they're different color. I used the same dye, if you will. I just use Kool-Aid because that's what I have so I'm not I didn't like go out and buy anything special I know some people use um, like different herbs and plants and such like that and some people use um, actual dye like writ dye and I don't have any of that so I figured I would use what I have and I have Kool-Aid because I have kids so so I have Kool-Aid I also have tea and coffee but I wanted the color I wanted pink so this is what I've dyed this one this one this one and this one and here is um, oh I actually dyed a couple other ones too let me pull this out real quick wait let me put these away oh you can't even see what I'm doing so I've just got some flat back pearls here uh, and this is all one color in this one uh, and then this one here is the like the cream color but then I've also got uh, an avalanche going on because I've buried it but I also have this which is completely full of gems and flat back pearls and such like that and you can use so many different things what did i just drop did i drop it in my lap no i dropped it on the floor so you can use a lot of different um elements for that center piece and i actually think i want to use some of this blue um because i think that it'll be really pretty with like kind of a, like a wintry theme and there's some pink here that I can use. Some purple, obviously more pink. Um, some more blue. This is actually two different blues. There's a um, kind of a turquoise in there, and then there's kind of like that grayish blue color. And these, I just got these from the Dollar Tree quite a few years ago. And you can use those. There's so many different things. These little guys that are sticking all over the place to everything. These actually came from Michael's. They're recollection brands. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can use. And I've just, this is where I have the bulk of my flatback pearls or gems or whatever you want to call them I call them flat back pretties that's what I call them and I got this where did I get this from I want to say that I got this from scrapbook.com this um, thing it sits there's a bar that you put on the wall and then you have these little hooks right here and it just sits like that and you can see everything that's in there like I have another one over here where I'm gonna throw more stuff on the floor because 
I am silly, and as I put these on the bar, I stack stuff on top of them, because I'm just goofy like that, I guess. Uh, I have my whiteout, because uh, I, have, I have kids in school, and they use pens, so why that's in here, I have no idea, because, well, I don't know. Anyway, this is a bunch of little tiny pieces, and we're going to keep this out, because I, I want to use some of these. And, um, oh, this is what I, this doesn't go in here. I have a little bag over here full of all kinds of metal pieces. But this is what this particular one looks like before I dyed it. So this one is a, a tighter crochet. You might be able to see that. It's a tighter crochet. So whenever you dye it, it it does still take the color, but just not as vibrant as, say, this one. See what I mean? Jelly bean. All right. Um, so we're going to need somewhere to put these as they are drying. So I have this little lid that I got a long time ago from ah Project Life. And I just kept the box, the bottom box, because it's very sturdy and I can very easily, um, like as I make them, I can throw them in here. And so we're going to do that. And then I have another basket over here. Stay. I kind of have doilies a little bit. And I have another basket of doilies because, like I said, the flowers are very popular so yeah and now my dog's barking there's you can also use metal pieces I have a couple on the table but I do have more beside me and if you're interested I can show you guys how I store my metal pieces as well um, this one happens to be in a bag right beside me because I was using it so I guess let's just get started and with crochet there's fuzz everywhere so you'll probably constantly see me picking apart like this one's got a little piece of fuzz on it oh this one's attached but you'll probably see me picking fuzz because it likes to spread see a little fuzz all right so let's just start shall we and I like to use um, hot glue occasionally I will use um, Fabri-Tac. Oh, I like that one. Let's see if we can find a middle piece to go with that. It's not quite as big as that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Alright. And I don't put a huge amount of glue on these because um, hot glue is a little dimensional. This is from when we were messing with the pages. I had this out with my paper clips. I'm just putting it away. Um, but because it is, it does make your, your project a little bit dimensional. I try not to use too, too much, which is another reason I often go to Fabri-Tac. And either one are good hot glue just is quicker with the drying aspect and because I'm going to be stacking these because I plan on making a bunch I want to um, have them dry as quick as possible so I'm just going to put that down there and I'm going to squish it to try to flatten out that glue a little bit and then I'm going to squish it that just sounds funny. I like it. Squeeze it. And these are different flower appliques. I do have a lot of these in my shop if you're interested. Um, I don't think I have this particular one in the shop yet. Um, but I do have a lot of 
flower appliques um, that are just just these. They're not pre-made like this. Um, that is what I'm doing right now so I can have more for you guys. Um, let's see. And I try to make at least four at a time. That way I can have multiple sets of the same one. If that makes sense. Instead of having just one set available, I try to have multiple sets available. Where's my... So this one's done. And once the set is done, we will just toss the whole thing in my little box over there and create something new. So that's three. And this makes four. And I try to make it to where the sets match so they can be used in the same project. That way you're not getting like four completely random flowers that don't necessarily go together. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Because I don't think you need to see all this part. You wanna see this part, right? I'm sure, all right. So, there's that, there's my sew again. I feel like I'm hoarse today. I don't know what it is. I mean, it is kind of the morning, not really. I mean, it's, what is it? 11.30, oh, my alarm's gonna go off. I always do that, I start the video before lunch. <laughs> so my alarm's going off in the middle of the video. I need to just take the alarm off, but as soon as I do that, it's gonna be like, I'm going to eat when I'm hungry, and then all of a sudden it's like 3 o'clock. So I like to eat around lunchtime, even if it's not directly at 12 o'clock. <clears throat> so that's two. And then, like I said, once we're done with this, we can keep one out so we can kind of match. And I don't mean by match do the same thing. I mean match as in coordinate. Because we want it to, well, I want it to coordinate. And normally the set of flowers come in a set of three. So I'll explain the whole four here in a minute. But the set of flowers comes in a set of three and they're various prices, depends on the materials. I do not have just a flat price for everything because some of the materials are a little bit more expensive. For instance, these metal pieces, these cost a lot more than a flower. You see what I mean? So I don't do a one size fits all. Um, I feel like that is not the same, same doily. It is not. Boop. How did you end up over there? was in the wrong spot. That's the right one. And then I always end up with glue on my fingers. But then again, that's kind of the story of our life, right? We have all, we've always got glue on our fingers. It just depends on what kind of glue it is that day. Today, it will be hot glue. But I am starting to get a tolerance for the hot glue. Because I touch it a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but eh, it is what it is. All right. So it's nice and flat on the back. So it can be glued down on top of, and it's very flat. Like if you see, like there's a lot of um, dimensional pieces out there that are very, very thick that people use in their journal pages. And I try to keep these as flat as possible. Every once in a while, I will use a metal piece that will raise the dimension quite a bit. Um, but this one, I'm not doing that with, let's see. 
That's pretty. What have we got here? How many of these do we have? Ooh, I like that. Do we have another one? Oh, no, nope, that's... And see, this is what I do. I often... Really? I oftentimes will take the... Um, sorry, my dog just barked out of nowhere. I'll take them apart and, make, and create multiple layers so I can use multiple layers. And that's what this little piece right here is. This is piece of this, and this actually came off of another bigger piece. So oftentimes I will take it apart and then reassemble it to, like I said, be aesthetically appealing. I think that is all. Ooh, that's pretty. Like these. That's what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to take those apart. And we'll use... Yeah. Okay, so we'll use those. Let's do that real quick. Oh, where did I go with my scissors? I think I left my scissors. Because I was sitting down... Uh, Wayne and I were watching um, The Blacklist. For me, it's again, because I've seen a good portion of it already. I haven't seen it, like, all the way through, but I have seen a good portion of it. And so for me, it's like a rewatch, but for him, I don't think it is. And anyway, so we were sitting down watching a couple episodes of Blacklist last night, and I was fussy cutting. I know, shocking. But it was actually kind of cool because I got a lot done. I'll have to show you guys. Well, that'll probably be in one of the next few videos, but I was very pleasantly surprised. I was like, woohoo! Yay! And so now we have this element and this element because we took it apart. See what I mean? I'm jelly bean. Alright, so let's use this one first. And let's figure out where we want to put this. Need a smaller, but not too small. Really, I think this one might work. Oh, yeah, I like that. And then, so like this one here is going to be a little bit more dimensional than this one. Okay. <clears throat> And then you could also even take that pearl completely out and put something else there instead. I think I'm going to leave the pearl. The pearl is very elegant and pretty. Uh, I just need to figure out what I'm going to do underneath. that one's good some of them because they're handmade they're <laughs> they're kind of different sizes so some of them might be a little bit smaller than others like this one so I'm not gonna use that one I'm gonna grab another handful here it's good those all seem kind of small oh that one's good we're going to put one more to make it just a little bit wider. And I think I want to go with a darker color. Do some contrast here. So let's go. Ah, there we go. Look at that. I like that. My light makes it look way more shiny than it is. Like, I mean, the threading on the flower is shiny, but it's not quite that shiny. I like that. Alright, so this one's done. And once we complete the set, I'll show you what I mean by it comes in a set of three. It will come in a set of three different flowers. 
but because I'm making four at a time, I will have four of these sets available. And sometimes they go really quick and sometimes they sit on there for like a week or two. So it just, it really depends on what people want. Woo. I think it also depends on the time, like what they're doing. Oh, I like that so much. I love these little flowers. I've used them often in um, a lot of the projects that I've been doing lately. But I really, really, really like doilies. So I decided, I'm mean, like, um, oh, I don't have anything handy. Um, because the basket that I covered in doilies, oh, I love that thing. I'll have to show you guys. But it's buried right now. Because um, I have a table that's beside me over there. Look, my finger glue on it. Anyway, I have a table that's over there. And it's got a lot of um, my stuff on it and one of those things is my basket that I covered in doilies it's quite cool actually I like it a lot but the same thing that I do with my bottle I do with a lot of things like you guys might remember my Mod Podge jar uh, it's covered um, I have dangles here hello that are in this container the container is covered. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just make everything prettier. Uh, even my books. Like, I have books here that I have. Um, this was kind of a dual purpose, though. I put doilies on this on the spine, so I know that that's what's inside of it. And I did the same thing with my flowers. I put flowers on the spine so I know that's what's inside is flowers. And then this one, I didn't really cover this one. Uh, I just made it pretty on top. And this one's got blue flowers inside. You guys might remember me doing this. It was on a live so it's not visible anymore because as I mentioned in the past, um, I have since taken all of my lives down. Um, I have had questions like, why would you take them down? Um, basically, I took them down because I wanted to go back to how it was before, um, before I started doing lives. Before I started doing lives, I loved doing videos. Loved doing YouTube and talking to you guys and sharing my work with you guys and just having fun and creating and showing and sharing and teaching and I loved all of that and it seems like when I started the lives and it could have been just coincidental but it seemed that when I started doing the live videos it, YouTube became very very filled with drama and I just I didn't like it anymore and so I didn't like what it represented, so I deleted it. And, well, I didn't delete them. I just removed them from public view. And so, like I said, I just, I didn't like what it reminded me of. And I guess I don't need that yet, do I? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And so I'm in a much positive, a much more positive situation in my life now I look at things differently I see things differently um, I hear negativity differently it's just it's so much better it's just I don't know I don't really know how to explain it it's just it's it's just better I'm happier and you know I've had people for a long time you know just do you just do you and this feels more natural to me it feels more positive it feels happier um, I, I just I enjoy it I enjoy being able to just turn the camera on 
and share with you guys what I'm doing. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Because I don't, my, obviously my objective is not to offend anybody. And I've noticed that with live videos, it's very easy to offend people. I've noticed that. But, with, or with live streams rather, it's very easy to offend people. But where did I put the rest of my flower? <laughs> Um, with videos, it's, I don't know if it's not as easy to offend people or if it's the fact that people are less likely to make offensive comments because it's there. Yeah. I mean, sure you can delete it, but it's there for everyone to see. And when you're doing a live, not a lot of people go back and that I know of because I never really did sometimes I did but I didn't go back and read the, the, the chat and so maybe that's it I have no idea to be honest with you not a clue all I know is there is a very very distinctive difference between how I feel doing live videos our live streams versus how I feel doing videos and I feel better I feel happier when I'm doing videos versus when I'm doing streaming I feel stressed and something that a lot of you may not know because some of you are new to the channel. I've gotten a lot of you, uh, a lot of subscribers over the last couple um, days. So a lot of you are new and you may not know this, but I do have anxiety. I have severe social anxiety. Um, and I also have generalized anxiety, which is fun. But on top of that, I also have a low blood pressure. And what that means is I cannot take anxiety medications, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think that's too much pink. I like that better. I think this might be too much. What do you think? Like that? Hey, stay there. Like that? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Or like that. I don't know. I do kind of like that. It's growing on me. Maybe it's the back doily. Let's try something different. We have, um, we have a darker one. Let's try the darker one. That might be what it needs. I do like that a lot. Oh, maybe if we put the white here instead of on the back. I like that. Hmm. Oh, the decisions, the decisions. I'm going to take a sip of my tea. I've been drinking a lot of white tea lately. It's quite yummy. See, I like that. I really want to use a metal piece, though. Let's see something different. Let's pull my pieces out. Which now you guys are able to see how I do this. Um, let's move these over a smidge. And we're just going to scooch this back. And we can toss these in the bucket here in a bit. Well, we can toss most of them in the bucket. Where's my bucket? There it is. We'll keep those two out so we know to match.
Now I really want to use these because I just took them out of their protective covers. All right, so we're just gonna scooch this over a little bit so I can put my bucket right there. So I got this at Joann's and I found more on Amazon. So you can find these on Amazon. Um, and I have all kinds of things in here. So let's pull this one first. Oh, I guess we can do it that way. Um, yeah. Let's see. Scooch. Where's our flower? There it is. Alright, so this is our flower that we kind of want to use. That's pretty. I like that one. I like the antique silver. That's what this one is. Versus, like, this one. This is just regular silver. Let's see the difference. This one's darker. I like that too. Mm, that one's nice. Oh, that one's really nice. Alright, so we'll keep that one aside. I kind of like the simplicity of that one. a heart. Oh, well, maybe not. This one's very scratched up. I think this one I bought um, somewhere else. I'm not sure. Oh, I wish I had more of these. That would be cool. Maybe not for the pink, but that would be really cool. I like that one. I haven't used it yet, obviously. Um, I need to see if I can find some more. That's pretty. I think that might be too much, though. All right, let's see. What's in this bottom one? Oh, these are flowers. Silk flowers. And then this one is pieces that are on... Um, either they're connected with plastic, because these pieces are plastic, or they're connected with wire, like with metal. And I have a very hard time cutting these, so I'm probably not going to use these in this project. I'm going to have to have Wayne cut them because I can't cut these. I have a very hard time cutting these. Um, and I do have, um, I have wire cutters, but I also have the, um, the Jumbo Tim Holtz, like cut through anything scissors. And they just, it doesn't want to come off. I'm going to see if I can't like pry it off, but I think it will damage it. So I haven't used these. I have tried, but I have a, like I said, I have a really hard time cutting them. So I, I typically don't, when I buy them, um, because this is before I figured out where to find metal pieces, like actual metal pieces. Um, this one's, this one's actually, let me see if I can show you the difference. So if you're going out looking for pieces, um, like on my shop, on my shop, I will, sh I will picture both the fronts and the backs because a lot of times you can tell what kind of metal is on the back by looking at the back. So this particular metal, um, you don't want to use E6000 on this unless you want it to change color because it will change color. Um, and then let's see, let's see this one here. Uh, like this one. This is a metal metal and like a very hard thick metal and you can kind of see the difference. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, we'll just take that one back. But 
do you see the difference in the metals? Like one is very thick and one is very thin. Now you can still use these and these are great product, uh, products. Um, I even have plastic in here. Like I use all kinds of stuff. It doesn't matter. Oh, I do have one, <laughs> but I only have one. I need four. So, um, but anyway, I use all kinds of project or products. Products. Um, I'm just trying to inform you as to what to use for adhesive because you don't, unless you don't care about them changing color, you don't want to use the E6000 on the real thin metals like that because that'll tarnish them or change colors or something. That's what I was told, so I never have done it. Um, so I honestly couldn't tell you what they look like. Maybe I'll do it one day so I can show you guys. This will be fun because I want to do some wintery stuff. That'll be fun. Let me set out a couple of those because I do want to use those. I did set the blue out over here. So we're going to use a couple of those. I love this bag. I have no idea where I got it from, but I love this bag. Um, all right, let's go to the top that's that's like my go-to one normally especially if I'm doing pinky stuff is the top one all right so just take that lid off and a sip of tea and that rose gold all right where'd my flower go come here flower Oh, wow. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that is so... Oh, I think we're going to stick with the rose gold. There's a heart. And I can't do the heart because um, this one, it didn't damage the center. But when I take it apart, a lot of times the center gets damaged, so I have to cover it. But I think that heart would be really pretty. So with that... Um, oh, there's a bow. He needs a bow. A little tiny cluster of flowers here. That one's pretty. I think this one would be good for a smaller one, so I'll go ahead and pull that out too. And I normally, if I use metal pieces, I try to only put one metal piece in a set um, because, again, it'll keep the it'll keep the cost down for those buying. That's really pretty. Okay, so I think we're down to this one, this one, or this one. I think I like the rose gold better. And I think I like this one the best. So let's put you away. And grab a couple more of those. All right. We have a winner, winner chicken dinner. Woo! Okay, cool. Voila. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. Ah, oh, I really like that. Now, do I still like it with paint move? That piece. Oh, I think that looks even better. we're going to stick with the darker one. All right, so these pieces are going to have to go with the E6000. And again, you can see the back. It's a very thick metal. And so it is E6000 safe. Ooh, I like that. I 
think I like it better with the white. All right, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna wait on the on the pretties. So we're gonna put the flower together, and then we're going to add the pretties after. one and we decided not to use those I can't tell which one's the right side As you can see I mean it is a little bit of a process like we've been doing this for like 40 minutes and I have one set almost complete oops I did that backwards there's the thing I knew that was coming, but I couldn't figure out how to mute my mic because <laughs> I don't know how to do it on here yet. Um, I mean, I could stop the recording, but I don't know how to mute the mic. Um, let's see. Figured it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I figured it out after. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue here on the side because I kind of did that backwards and um, and this is how I end up with hot glue on my paper because these are doilies so there's holes in them. So when I'm gluing, I'm gluing through holes. Or I could just do the outside like that. There we go. That's better. See if I can't do this one in the right order. All right, then we'll grab the E six thousand because these are all done. Minus our pretty, our pretty, pretty. And I have gotten to, um, I have gone to using the tiny tube of E6000 because I just went through, I want to say a second or third tube of E6000 where it ended up drying up before I could use the whole thing. So I'm now using the teeny tiny ones and they're so cute. Oh, that one's not open. Now I can't close the lid. There we go. All right. And I got these on Amazon. Oh. And it even comes with like these little dabby tool thingies that you can use for very, very small pieces, which I think is really cool. Did we not glue that one? I feel like this one's not glued well enough. We're going to go around the outside with this. There we go. 
And I've also found um, that I really enjoy playing with lace and doilies. If you guys haven't figured that out. It is a lot of fun. And it, it feels very effortless for me. I just do it. that makes sense because I think that crafting and enjoying crafting shouldn't be hard I think that it should be enjoyable and effortless and I need a lot more glue than that there's a there's a divot in this just ever so slightly so I think yeah I think I'm gonna need a little bit more glue probably about twice as much as I've already put on there so just another little, you know, that measurement. All right, I think that'll be good. Now I just set it down, push it out just a little bit, and just leave it there. Now, the set for this particular set of flower doilies will be crap. I thought I loosened them all up from the paper. Okay. Now let's put you back where you go. Alright, just want to make sure you're adhered. Now, the thing is, is E6000 does take a minute set but it takes 24 hours to cure so I won't even be listing these um, for a while I normally don't list them uh, immediately anyway because I like to have more than one set done at a time uh, so when I do list them I can list like four new sets at once if that makes sense so I can show you guys what the set will look like you will get one of those, one of those, and one of those. And that is the complete set. And because I made four of these, four of these, and four of these, I have four sets to offer. The, I think that makes sense. Now I do have to leave these on the table. And um, that's normally how it goes with the, um, with the flowers. But I think they turned out really, really, really cute. I like these a lot. I really like these. Now these are a little bit more dimensional because of that metal piece. So you can put these on pages. You can also put them on spines. You can put them on covers. Like I'll actually show you. Um, you remember the altered book that I'm playing with? I have a flower on my spine. Now this is actually a, um, I made these directly on the spine instead of creating them and then gluing them on the spine. Um, but it's the same concept. I keep hearing something out my front door and it's like freaking me out. Um, this little piece has come up. I think I'm at E6000 since it's here. But anyway, um, you can use them on so, so, so many different things. You can use them on tags, on pockets, on journaling cards, all kinds of things. So I just had to glue that down, it came up. And now I have E6000 on my finger. Good eight. <laughs> it's not as bad as Fabri-Tac. Having Fabri-Tac on your skin is like, it's really interesting to try to get it off your skin. So let's see what's, I don't, we definitely don't have enough time to do a whole nother set, but we can definitely start one. So let's see, we did pink, let's do green. I really like this mint color. So I'm gonna actually take these apart, possibly. I'm just making sure I don't already have some taken apart. I have a lighter color right there. 
I really like this lighter color. Can you see the, the darkness, the difference in shade? Like, it's still a green, but it's more of a very light teal, whereas this is more of a, a, this is actually kind of a mint color in my head. I don't know. I'm not a colorologist person, so I don't think that's a word. But let's see if we can't, let me do one, and we also have the cream over there. So that's what we can do. We can do, um, we can do the different colors. I think I'm going to do the darker green first. I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart. Because what that's going to do is it's going to give me eight flowers. Eight elements, well, two different elements to work with. And I might do this one like a pink and teal. Because pink and teal is a very popular combination. Brown and pink, black and pink, gray and pink. I think I have gray, actually. I don't have enough gray to create a cluster. So if I do gray and pink, I'd really only be able to create one set. And I really don't like doing that. Um, let's see. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the pink. We really want to do that. So we can actually... I like that. Let's see what colors we have pinky-wise. Pinky-wise? Oh, I like those a lot. Okay. So there's that part. And you don't always have to make them big. Um like wide. You can make them smaller sometimes. And sometimes you can just put like one or two elements on there and call it a day as long as it matches everything else. Um, let's see. I think this is going to be too small. Oh, maybe. I do like that combination. Oh, I like that a lot. Color is this? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. It's our time. color. Um, ooh. Maybe if we take this off. Ooh, I'm going to have to eat something. Now I'm getting hungry. It's just after 12. It is uh, 12, 12, actually. I actually kind of like that. What do you think? And that's what I do, is I'll sit here and I'll play with them for a while to figure out um, how I like them sitting together. And I think I like that. I'm not sure about this one. I want to use it, but I just don't think it goes, so I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to use two metal pieces, um, because if I use two metal pieces, that makes the price go higher, and I don't want to do that. So I try to limit the metal pieces one per set. Every once in a while, I'll put some up there that have uh, two. And I think at one point in time, I had one set uh, I don't know if it's still there, but I think at one point in time I had one set that was nothing but metal pieces. I'm pretty sure I sold out of that one. I think. I don't know. I lose track. This, I like this, but I feel like it needs something else. That's not big enough. I 
do like the combination, but it's not big enough. It's not wide enough. And I think these are too wide. Oh, maybe. Hmm. No. Hmm. No, we can't do that, because that goes with that. Let's put that together. Okay. And then these guys here. Oh, I'm missing one. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Um, hum. What I could do is take this completely apart, take that little pearl off, use just this part there. Oh, that's, yep, yeah, that makes way better. Okay. So let's figure something to go here. What do I have? Um, I have these little guys here. Ooh, I like that. Um, there's also these little guys. It's similar, but it doesn't have the white sparkly. It has, or the silver sparkly. It has like the, uh, it's just a flower. Hmm. I think I like this one better. I like the little additional sparkly. Okay, I think we just created our next set. Cool, huh? We didn't even use these. We'll set those back over there. And then... I really like the simplicity of this one, actually. This one here. So we can go ahead and put those together. And sometimes the sets come really easy, and sometimes the sets take a long time to get together, as you can see from the first one. The first one was like, um, I'm not sure this is gonna work. But it did. We and there's this one. Let that cool a little bit before I pull it off because then it'll bring the glue with it. Alright. Oh no. Okay. So the first little flower's done. Look at that. Alright, cool beans. So if you like these kind of videos, then uh, just let me know and we'll we'll keep making them. Um, but I am going to go ahead and make, an, um, I think we'll do, we'll finish up a few uh, sets tomorrow so I can go ahead and get them pictured and put them on the shop. And um, hopefully those will be available when this airs. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today in making these clusters. They're so much fun. Well, flowers or whatever you want to call them. I call them flowers. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.